This is a van. This is a van with a fan. This is a van with a fan with an AC man with no drip pan. What? So I missed my Thursday upload this past week. My normal schedule is Thursdays at noon and if I have more content I usually upload Tuesdays 3 p.m. Eastern. I'm dropping this video today because we have a hurricane that is coming up the eastern seaboard and potentially may affect us here in North Carolina. Not sure yet. Hope it doesn't. Hope the folks down in the Caribbean can avoid any potential disaster down there and any of the states on the eastern seaboard as this thing moves. Hoping that if it does come on land, it'll lose some strength uh, or either make a beeline turn east way and head out into the Atlantic Ocean. Either way, we're going to make sure we're prepared. So I'll put a picture up of the latest hurricane tracker for Hurricane Dorian uh, so you guys can kind of see the projected path. So hopefully it doesn't affect us at all, but if it does, I'm prepared to, uh, to actually bug out and do some riding. So let's keep our fingers crossed it doesn't. Let's talk a little bit about what we have here today. So you probably think I'm crazy. You're right. But what if you had to bug out and you were at a relative's house, a parent's house, a friend's house, a campsite, just living off of solar, and you really needed air conditioner in the van. 99% of the time, I don't need anything uh, but just a fan. But sometimes you need an AC, man. And sometimes you don't want to pay $1,000 for an overhead unit, which would mount on top of the van and uh, which by the way are the most efficient units but they're also the most costly obviously and they raise the height of your van even more so than it is now uh, which is not an option for me and some of you may already have these in your home these are portable ac units all right so make no mistake about it i'm not advocating that you go out and buy a portable ac for a van it's these portable ac units they're highly inefficient as a matter of fact most of them don't come with an e efficiency rating on them no way is near efficient as a window unit or a unit that would mount on top of the van but that's not an option for me i don't want to raise the height of the van i don't want to have an air conditioner here 95 96 percent of the time only that small percentage of time where i actually need an air conditioner where i'm doing an extended stay and perhaps using the van more as a room than uh, as a travel camper so um this is an LG unit and it's rated at 5,000 BTU. So we're gonna see what the wattage draw is and try to run this off our 300 amp hours of battery storage. See how long it takes to get from whatever the ambient temperature in here is down to a cool 76 degrees, which is what I keep my home on. And I find that a very comfortable temperature in Fahrenheit. So um, let's talk a little bit about the unit. So, the unit costs about 315 bucks. A lot of folks already have one of these units in the home. They do take up space. It's quite high. It's, you know, almost, uh, I would say it's probably about 30 inches high. And uh, th these are just guess numbers. You can go look at the manufacturer's website. Uh, it's probably a good, you know, seven, 18 inches thick as well. So you got to have room for this inside. Um, so that's another downfall to it. But like I said, it is an option. It's not the best option, but it is an option if you need to use it. And especially if you have one of these around in your house already, you don't need to go out and buy one. So this is the exhaust piece of the air conditioner. Uh, that particular LG unit that I have, it actually, um, the uh, condensate water drains back through the system. So it kind of double evaporates. So there's very little actual condensation water that you have to dump running in AC mode. Now there is also a de dehumidify mode on it and uh, you'll have to drain that. But uh, you'll need this piece and I have cut it to the shape of my window so there should be a fairly good seal and uh, shouldn't let a lot of air in. So this piece along with uh, you get this hose, exhaust hose here. Actually the one that came with the unit was probably about maybe about a foot too short. So I actually sourced another one of the hose pipes and then sourced another one of these adapter kits here uh, just so I could have one for the van and then I could have one if I needed to put it in a house window as well. So let's go see what the temperature is and we'll turn her on. All right, like I said, I have two thermometers. Uh, let's see if you can see this one. So it's about, it says it's 43% humidity and about 93.7 degrees Fahrenheit up front here. 
that is in the front of the van as you can see I have it on the wall mounted toward uh, facing the sliding door of the van and is it representative of right here in the middle of the van I don't know it probably is not off more than a few degrees but I just don't have anywhere to hang it in the middle of the van and then see if I can show you in the back I also have one on the back door I figured it would be very high it's reading 111 degrees um, I don't know if you can see that right in the middle of the camera there 111 degrees and that's typical um, because it is mounted on the back door frame back there and when the sun hits that back door in the morning time it gets hot back there and so uh, anyhow that is where my head would be when I'm sleeping at night and uh, I can always feel the heat kind of radiating, radiating off the plywood and off the back door um, after soaking up the sun all day so this should be a pretty good test of this air conditioner right just in case you're wondering I do have the van on some drive up ramps it helps kind of level out things a bit my driveway is sloped and so we're almost sitting just about level uh, with those ramps underneath it so uh, hopefully that helps us here so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna lower this window the passenger side window and I'm gonna put our adapter plate in for our exhaust and hook the hose up and run it to the back of the unit and then we'll be able to plug our unit in and we can start the test it is now 94.1 degrees inside all right I've expanded our hose here and I'm just going to uh, screw this into our window plate here and this is just a reverse thread kind of deal so I'm just going to screw it on a few times snake this through the vehicle and we're we'll roll our window down and put our plate in We've got a pretty good seal up there. I've got rubber molding across the top and then I've got some uh, some foam across the bottom there. All right, so we have our exhaust hose mounted and we have it snaked through the van. So this is what the exhaust vent looks like from the outside of the vehicle. I did paint the, uh, the adapter plate black so it would kind of blend in with the window a little bit. I'm not concerned with being stealthy because I probably never will use this in a stealthy situation, but uh, I did paint it black so it would blend more into the window. The obvious thing there is the uh, exhaust hose is, uh, is white. So anyhow, we will put the adapter plate on this end of the hose and I'll uh, slide it in the back of the portable AC unit and uh, check some temperatures and we'll check our batteries and we'll start her up. Alright, now that we've got that set up, let's, uh, let's go take a look at what we have in our battery. And uh, also, I am not running off of shore power here. You can see shore power is closed. There's nothing plugged in there. So this is a 5000 BTU rated. I expect it to pull probably 12 or 1300 watts maybe even 1500 watts and I'm at 13.5 volts on my battery system right now you can see here it shows 13.5 I am using zero AC load off the inverter my batteries are hundred percent charged and the solar is charging at about 205 watts so 
we should have enough to at least start this thing up and uh, start the cooling process like i said i'm going to set the thermostat on the ac for 76 degrees which is what i keep my house on so that'll be equivalent to what i'm normally used to the only other device that will be pulling off the batteries is the refrigerator and right now it's running at about 34 degrees fahrenheit um, it's a dc load so there will be a little bit of draw but as you can see right here um, the dc power draw is i think it's saying 40 watts 41 watts um, so it's probably not only running the refrigerator but it's running these devices to these displays um, so that's about the only load that's actually on those what i'm going to do next is i'm actually going to block off the hole that the dc fan sits in up there in the top so i've got some 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 flexible paracord run across there i'm going to put a piece of insulation and block that hole off um, just in case there is any vacuum draw of hot air through there uh, so I, I really want this AC to just kind of pull the hot air out of the the air that is in the room currently and uh, go from there instead of having it pull a bunch of hot air from the top of the van or the outside of the van through the vent so I'm gonna climb up there and block it off I have a piece of insulation that just kind of fits in the hole there so let's do that all right, so I'm very close to this fan, but you can see with the lid closed, there's probably not a lot of air being leaked in there, but uh, just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna plug the bottom of this thing up with a piece of insulation here that I have cut in here. And this is probably what I will put up there during the winter time, to keep cold air, or to help keep some of the cold air at bay let's crank this baby up put them on 76 and let's see how long it takes and i need my timer for that all right i'm gonna start our stopwatch after i turn this on so let's see power we're on cool mode and let's set 76 degrees you can see our uh vents opening there i'm just want to make sure there's cool air actually coming out of here before i shut the door and that we're on high fan cool mode. yes we are all right i'm going to start my timer here and then just to prove that there's some cool air coming out of here not coolest yet but what on the display here we're pulling about 720 watts from the AC load here um, so I think probably you know that's going to crank up a little bit more as the compressor uh, kicks in and does its thing so we'll see how long this thing lasts all right I'm gonna jump out and shut the door and we're gonna test what the exhaust uh, temperature is gonna be timer running I'm gonna leave the phone right there and I'm gonna shut the door here so we've got the sliding door shut and we've got some nice warm air coming out of our exhaust vent here so we're getting about 103 104 degree 106 107 degree exhaust temp coming out of there all right so I should be able to connect to my solar system and my batteries through Bluetooth that way I don't have to actually open a door to go inside disrupt the air let a bunch of hot air um, come in but I, there's some pretty hot air coming out this exhaust vent so I'll check that from the Bluetooth the other thing I'll tell you about these units like I said they're not that efficient one of the things that you feel coming out of here that's just not hot air coming from the inside of the van that a lot of that hot air is coming from the unit itself in most refrigerated systems you have the hot part of the system will be outside of the house like a split unit with these portable ACs it's producing heat at, at it, where it's at inside the room you're actually trying to cool so it can be much more inefficient and you can tell by the hot air that's coming out here you're getting the exhaust from that um, from the process of trying to bring the, the heat out of that room as well as the heat coming out of that room so that's one of the reasons they're not as efficient but we'll see we'll see what happens all right we're about 
seven or eight minutes in we're down to 96 percent and we're pulling in about 1180 watts all right so we'll do our first check in at around 20 minutes i will crack the van door and just peek at the thermometers that are placed in the back and one at front and just see where we are and uh, that is if the ac hasn't uh, thermostat hasn't clicked off all right i'll give you an update then so we're pulling about 1165 watts and we can tell our voltage has dropped down with that load on it obviously there's an internal resistance to the bat resistance to the batteries and so we're definitely going to have a voltage drop across the batteries if you look at the state of the charge we're already down to 89 percent so uh you wouldn't be able to run this thing long on on 300 amp hours that's for sure but uh, we'll see if it makes it through uh let's try to get to 30 minutes and see what happens so we're at about 16 minutes in and we've got about 120 degree fahrenheit reading at the highest coming out of the pipe exhaust pose, pose averaging around about 117. all right just a quick snapshot of what's being used here you can see our battery voltage and our watts um, obviously there's a big current draw coming through a small voltage as such um, to actually run that air conditioner so you can't expect this to run an exceptionally long time and that's the whole reason there's shore power and there's much more efficient air conditioners but in a pinch could it work potentially yes for a long time no but you know if you had a motocross van and you were in between motos um, could you step inside and cool off between motos absolutely and uh, probably just a quick start of the van you could probably charge the batteries up if you have a battery battery isolator like i have on this particular van and you could start it up and uh, you could uh, have your batteries charge right back up to 100 percent in no time so uh, that along with the solar going as well so it is an option it's not the great option it's not a good option but you know it can work to a certain degree all right we're at 24 minutes and 45 seconds let's take a quick look at our system here and see where we're at so we're at 82 percent charge now 12.7 volts and we're drawing about 78 amps out at a total of somewhere just below a thousand watts it seems to um fluctuate between about 1200 and about 950 and uh averaging just about 100 amps of, of pull so you can figure i got 300 amp hours of battery so um at 100 amps you could draw down potentially if you had that much capacity you could draw down for about three hours so um you're only going to have a certain percentage that even with life put four batteries so probably at best you'd probably get you know an hour and a half maybe two hours out of this air conditioner um i'd feel safe at stopping it probably at about an hour and it may even stop it may even trigger a low voltage alarm here pretty soon anyhow uh we'll see but um i don't know what temperature it is inside i haven't cracked the door since we started it and we are at we're at 26 minutes so i'll do a 30 minute check-in and uh you know potentially we'll run it to 40 minutes max probably um and see how cool it is inside the other thing you'll kind of notice too is this van is sitting directly in the sunlight and typically when i find a campsite i'm not going to be in sunlight i'll try to find shade so this is probably stressing it a little more than it normally would but you know it is a test so why not test it to the max all right let's go do our 30 minute check-in and see if it made a difference inside the van all right so we're here for our 30 minute check-in i'm going to try to slip inside the uh sliding door here there's a lot of vacuum so the door's a little bit more diff difficult to open right away i can tell there's a noticeable difference in humidity um we went down to what 89 degrees and let's turn the lights on all right we still haven't shut off but the the change in humidity in here is unbelievable at least just from the field it doesn't look like it changed much on this thermometer here but we're at 89 degrees in here right now and in the back 
it says it's 94 so we came down from 111 to 94 and I believe we came down from about 94 in the front to about 89 now it is actually really comfortable in here right now as compared to when it what it was when I originally stepped in but I think it would probably take um, another and I could probably close off some of these gaps up here I feel a lot of the heat coming back into um, the van through the the top there so I think if you were to close that off uh, put a piece of foam up there that uh, you could really get good function out of this let's just take a look at the load as it sits inside here so about you know 950 watts we're at about 77 percent charge on our batteries um, and we're, we're pulling close to our average of 100 amps so uh, could we get 40 minutes out of this thing probably um, I think one of the things that I would need to do is I feel so much hot air being vacuumed back through the front part up here um, I think stuffing some foam up there would help out a lot um, you know it is just a curtain so you're only going to get it so good but I would say if you needed to come in here for you know a 30 40 minute cool down and uh, maybe prep the sleeping area to be a little bit more comfortable I think this would work you know fairly well obviously you got to carry around this big thing and you got to find some way to strap it down and keep it from rolling but you know just running off your solar here you know it could work it could work you know as a temporary solution now I could plug the van into shore power and run this thing you know constantly until the thermostat clicks off but um, I really just wanted to kind of test out the solar piece of it uh, just in case um, I wasn't able to get shore power but uh, at least I know what the average load expected is on the batteries and from the inverter and uh, so they're giving me an idea about how much I can actually leverage this you could sit here in a chair in front of this uh, AC unit and definitely cool your body temperature down uh, and it's something that could be used for if you're in a mountain bike race or like I said if you're doing motocross and you're going to come in between motos and cool down yeah you could do it uh, it's not totally out of the question so you know I've seen wackier things, but uh, I figured I'd just give this a try. So I'm up here by the uh, the, in, the fan, the DC fan in the inside, and I can tell I probably should be able, should cut a larger piece of insulation. Um, I can definitely feel a vacuum draw of air from the outside to the front of the van with this air conditioner running, and you guys probably noticed earlier how hard it was to actually open the side sliding door um, so there was a fairly good vacuum in here and I've got a carbon monoxide alarm so I'm not too concerned about uh, having air this thing is not airtight whatsoever so I think there's more than enough air in here but uh, probably yeah I've blocked the front above the uh, I'll probably cut a few strips of insulation to to kind of uh, tuck in over top of the divider curtain in the front and also I'm gonna cut a larger piece of insulation here that will cover up some of these holes here to prevent uh, as much of a draw of hot air from the outside of the van through this vent yeah but uh, very comfortable sitting here let's see what we're at now on our load um, so we're about at a thousand watts pull 72 percent we're averaging somewhere around 940 950 watts being drawn um, thermostat hasn't clicked off yet obviously the temperature is not changing that much I think I've got so many kind of air leaks in here this is probably about as efficient as you're going to get it in here um, but super comfy super comfy standing right in front of the van so I'm going to cut the test there and uh, I'll probably come back at a later time, maybe after the hurricane has uh, dissipated and done what it's done. And maybe run the test again with filling some of the cracks up here and having a larger piece of foam up there just to see if it would make any difference. Uh, we're at about 40 minutes into the test now. And I gotta say, it's, it's, it's fairly comfortable inside this van. 
you know it's on about 92 degrees outside and it's sunshine i'm direct i'm in direct sunshine so all right that'll do it for this test i think we'll call it let's turn around Right. Hope you enjoyed this video doing some silly stuff with the Hurricane Bug Out Kit and just seeing if a portable AC would actually work inside the van off of solar for a period of time just to get it cool enough to be comfortable. Share the link with your friends. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, skill up and ride. Van up and go.